Support the channel by becoming a channel member or joining the Patreon through patreon.com slash manlightfoot. Welcome to another episode of Simple Thoughts. Today's episode is a bit of a off the cuff, just something has been bugging me for a long time type of <laughs> simple thoughts this time around. And it's mainly just because of recent events, particularly having to do with cancellations in TV shows. Because most recently, Rap Shit just got canceled. It wasn't a show I was watching, I'll admit, but my friend Tariq was watching that show and he lo loved that stuff and I had other friends also watching it who really enjoyed it. And I've constantly heard a lot of good things about it, but it got canceled after it wrapped up, I think, its second season. And this is something that's been bugging me for so long because of the fact that this is a constant trend nowadays in television where shows don't get to go past two seasons. It's not new, honestly. We've had this type of problem back in the day even when before like streaming, but it wasn't to this degree and there weren't as many shows being made back then. You know, now we're constantly getting hit with new shows after shows after shows every month. And it's becoming difficult to keep up with and everything's getting canceled left and right because all this stuff is just being made and none of them can gain a following fast enough because the models for streaming are so twisted and disjointed because a lot of it hinges on instant success. Like for a lot of these shows, they drop a whole season in one day and expect people to watch the entire season in that entire week. And that to me is just not sustainable at all. It's not good. It's awful. And and the biggest thing is it's like new a lot of new shows are going down that route where a lot of the crew and the showrunners and such have to come out and say, hey, guys, th th there's the chance this show might get canceled. So please, you guys got to watch it on the streaming service. And don't get me wrong. That's how it should be. You know, it should be watched properly. But the real problem is that it feels like watching TV is a job now because of this, sadly. That's the problem I feel as, an, as someone who, you know, has to consume this stuff for a living and and to actually you know make content for it like either analyzing it, it it's a matter of like it felt fine to do as for a youtuber but as a regular audience member thinking about it you you think about it, it's like that's not what an audience member should have to do it shouldn't feel like a job just to watch your favorite tv show you know and I feel bad for all these uh, creators, to be honest. That's something I do want to throw out, that these creators who do say that they have to advertise the shows because, you know, the network didn't give them a lot of money to work with for marketing or anything like that. Like that, I don't want to blame them at all for it because that's the problem. You know, they're not given any advertising money or anything. They're just told, go make it clear that it exists. We'll give you a few promo trailers that we show on the channel and throw up on uh, YouTube and Twitter. That's about it. And it's just like, that's the worst way to get people invested in these things. Like it's relying way too much on like social media engagement for advertising. And it's like, that, it, that's not the best way to do it anymore. So. It's just a thing where I think t television just needs to get to the point where because it, it's really ridiculous. Moon Girl, which is a fantastic series, literally about to have its second season. But Disney's going to drop 14 episodes of the season all in one day. And it's just like, what? Why? It was on television. It, I'm pretty sure it was doing fine. It just won a bunch of Emmys. It, it just got a bunch of awards. So it's a question mark of like, how, what's happening? And I feel so sorry for everybody who worked on it because it, it's clear that it's being mistreated because I don't, that's, that feels like a death sentence to me. The fact that it, all the 14 episodes of a season just dropping right then and there and then it's being straight up made clear that it's like, you have to go watch it. Molly McGee literally just ended at the top of this year. It's a very new series. 
and Disney just screwed it over. And it's like, what, what's going on anymore? And the story came out. It's like we had. It's like yeah, we people kept bootlegging it too much, or were pirating it. Sadly, and it's like people needed to watch it on the streaming services. But sadly, Disney wasn't pushing too hard for it on that front. Like so, it's a matter of like, what can we do? What can you really do at this point? It sucks for the audiences because it's like they really want to see these people's work, but. It sadly becomes a chore now. It's becoming an obligation. It's becoming a job for a lot of them. And that's not okay. It's like they should just have to turn on the TV and just enjoy the show. But it's becoming way too much of an obligation at this point to try to watch your favorite show just in hopes that, you know, the big wigs at the top are going to have some sympathy and say, yeah, sure, you can have another season. And... People are like, I, I don't want to have to do that. I shouldn't have to do that. You know, they should just be able to see that I'm watching and be able to tell that I'm watching and enjoying this show, you know? As a content uh, creator myself, someone who makes stuff and analyzes this stuff, it should be perfectly fine for me or people like me because it's like, oh, that's just more stuff to review and all that. But for regular audiences, I'm seeing people say, yeah, this stuff sucks to watch now because I don't get time to actually invest in any of these characters. People are seeing that it's like, yeah, it, get, it gets canceled after two seasons and the second season ended on like a major cliffhanger and I'm now just blue balled basically. Like you now don't know what the ending is going to be and you just have to hold, hold that. The story never concludes for these people. And it, at this point, so many people have just checked out, I feel. I've seen so many people just say, yeah, I don't really watch a lot of new stuff. So many people I hear go back and rewatch old stuff because it's like it's finished and I get to actually finish it myself instead of it being having the rug pulled from under me. That's sadly a lot of people's takes now. It's just rewatch old stuff that's already finished and the new stuff, leave it to keep getting killed because you, you, they don't want to let it grow an audience. And it's even affecting how these shows are made because let's face it back in the day you would get a lot of time dedicated to actually connecting with characters you get so many episodes within a season like 26 episodes a season sometimes that was like the average like but once we got into the streaming era you know the streaming services they cost a lot of money and they don't get sponsorships you know like how channels used to back in the day that commercials were a big part of how shows were paid for and with streaming they didn't really do a lot of advertising the one model that had it right was hulu hulu had it just right where it's like the stuff would air on cable first and then the next day it just goes to hulu and you can catch up if you want to that was the ideal model right there and then sadly Hulu by this point got bought up by Disney and they adopted all the other bad models of every other streaming service where now it's like you got to pay to have ads on and with Hulu you just get ads you it's free but you have ads it's like okay that's fair all it's like I just sign up for this account and I can watch whatever I want but I have to watch an ad to do so who, who can be mad at that who really could be mad at that and so we have all these different streaming services and they're starting to cost just as much as cable now. And people are just fed up with that stuff. The one streaming service in this whole thing right now that is actually doing things pretty right is Tubi, surprisingly. Like, it's the one that said, 
let's keep the whole you watch anything you want for free but you have ads thing they kept that model going and now they're to the point where they have a really good big library of old obscure media that a lot of people never heard of or thought never they would never see again like they just got a lot of those old hanna-barbera uh christmas or holiday specials on there like last year and it's just like okay yeah they're and they're trying to get original content made it's like that was the exact smart model that hulu had and if they literally if hulu would kept that model the entire time it probably would have been the top service out of all of them probably in general all these services would have been a lot better because the problem with these services they're trying to compete with youtube they're trying to have so much content every day they to keep people engaged to try to compete with youtube and you can't you want to know why? Because YouTube is cheaply made when you really get down to it. Because all it is is letting people upload their stuff for free. People get to sit in their rooms, in their houses, and make whatever they want, however they want, so, so long as they follow certain guidelines and such. And it's cheap to do, and it's easy to just push out as much as you want with that. And they're trying to compete with these million-dollar shows and movies, and it's like, you can't, you are never going to be able to compete with us. You can't compete with us. I don't know why you thought you could. Why are you even trying? You know, that's the harsh reality of the whole situation is that it's like streaming services want to compete. And it's a sadly affected how the stories are written because people because sadly, the characters now feel rushed. You know, it's constantly this sense of we need to get as much information out as we can because we don't know if we're going to be able to make it we don't know if we're going to get another season to be able to tell the full story and i it's for a lot of people it's like i'd rather just check out if this is the level of quality we're going to get where it's not well thought out or it's thought out but sadly it has to be rushed just because it, there's fear that it's never had the story fully told and it's just like that's too much to have to deal with that i mean that's just not something anybody wants to deal with so i just made i mainly wanted to make this just to get off a lot of frustrations i've been having so far and i feel is genuinely other people's frustrations with this too i don't know i mean if you're having these same type of frustrations let me know in the comments because i genuinely feel this is something that it's just annoying to see in the industry and we're constantly see it the industry eat itself alive and trying to make stuff that should be easy that was a, usually a given for them back in the day a lot of these shows would be like hits after hits you know but now it's sadly just something where they're just content they're supposed to be what we make and i don't want to look at television in that regard ever you know, what I make is just something that entertains a niche audience, obviously, and it's simple to make for me and it works for me and it's fine. And I enjoy that you guys enjoy this. I'm happy that you guys enjoy my content, but I don't want to look at this as <laughs> like an amazing thing as like television where it's way more collaborative and you're seeing so many different bells and whistles come together to be able to make <laughs> these amazing like shows just to tell these amazing stories you know that's just how i see it honestly i just think it shouldn't feel like a job to want to watch your favorite shows anymore as when you're just trying to simply enjoy a good story written by these great uh storytellers in this manner that they've chosen to s tell the story in i that's just really my frustrations at the end of the day but you know let me know what you think about all of this stuff. And always remember, it's just a thought.